Bonjour mes amis and welcome to Gourmet Cooking. We're going to do a little French meal tonight. We're going to do a little French with maybe a little Nouvelle Cuisine twist. It's an interesting combination I experienced in Paris. It's grilled ham steaks with cucumber sauce, a nice refreshing sauce. It's a little different, but it's great. Along with that, we're going to have what is called a clafouti of vegetables. A clafouti is really basically a dessert with fruit and a custard sauce. But we've exchanged the fruit for vegetables, and it's quite good with a little tomato uh, sauce on top. And then a nice salad just to round things out. So we're going to start. Now, I had, as we came on camera, I had just taken this nice tomato out of this hot water, and we cooled it just slightly so that we could peel it. And we wanted to do that to save a little time to get ahead. As you can see, the skin comes off very nicely. Take that blossom end out and the stem. And that will be one of the ingredients for our clafouti, or it'll make the sauce for our vegetable pudding, you might call it, or a clafouti. All right, let's go on with that. Now, we're also going to have ham steak with the cucumber sauce and this uh, clafouti, the, the vegetable custard thing. So we need to get that going. And to start that off, I'm going to need to melt a little butter about uh, two tablespoons in this skillet. And while that's going on, we're going to take several vegetables and clean those. Now, let's stop a mo moment, though, for those of you that are interested. This, uh, the recipes for this show are on page 108 and 109 of volume 3. But the salad is on page 51 in volume 1 of Gourmet Cooking. All right. Now, let's go with our clafouti. It's going to require leeks, mushrooms, carrots, celery, and zucchini. And we need to get those going. Let's take our leek first. This is a small leek. We already have one prepared. Now, the, unfortunately, these nice green tops are just not good. They're not edible. They're too tough. So we cut those off. And this outer stalk. And you will find that leeks, by their nature, are very dirty. So we want to simply cut it down, leaving the root end attached. And then when we do, we can get into the leaves and wash that. So we'll go over here to the sink and wash this, spreading the leaves and letting the water get in there and get all that dirt. As you can see, you can spread those leaves now. And it just so happens that we're going to cut this anyway into, into small pieces. Now, you could cut it and then wash it, either way. So we chop our leek. And a leek is a wonderful vegetable, a very French vegetable. And it's uh, a part of the onion family, but it's mild and has a wonderful flavor. They're used just in almost so many dishes in the French cooking. So we have one nice large leek, or two small ones in this case, to make up the difference. And we want to start that sautéing in our butter. So we'll start that and let that sauté for a moment while we prepare the other vegetables that go into this dish. And then we're going to take some celery. And I like to peel our celery, get those awful strings off. It just makes the, the dish so much better, and it's so easy to do with a vegetable peeler, or an econome, as they call it in French. Now, we simply cut this, and then, again, we want to dice the celery. And we can add that to our onions and let those saute. Let's stop a moment and stir this, turning the heat down just a little bit. We want then to add some zucchini and the same thing. We want that into nice dice. And we cut the zucchini down the middle. And with a nice ni uh, spoon, we can scrape some of the seeds. They're not too bad in this nice, small, tender zucchini. And then we want to cut that into dice. That's too thick. Cut that. Now, 
Now we have enough zucchini, I don't need to do the whole one, the whole one, so let's just chop this half and add it to what I have already. And we can add that to our vegetable mixture. Another ingredient, well let's go to the carrots next. They take a few minutes. We want to take a nice piece of carrot, we cut one edge off so that the carrot will stay in place while I cut through. And then, cutting in the opposite direction, we make little julienne slices and then we cut the carrot. We can then take the little slice we had before, the two we cut off and julienne those. And we'll add that to the carrots that we already have and add that to our vegetable mixture. Again, tossing these fragrant and colorful vegetables together. We're going to let those cook for about three minutes after we add the final one. Clear this board a little bit and go for our, our nice mushroom. We want then to also dice this, chop it in any particular shape, it's not important. We'll add the mushrooms to our melange of vegetables and scrape these aside. Again, we stir and let these cook in the butter for about five, six, seven minutes, whatever time we can because while that's going on, we're going to prepare the other part of this clafo tea and that's our custard or our base for our custard. And that's going to require some flour. That's about two-thirds of a cup. We need two eggs. We want to blend those together. And we need about two-thirds cup of milk. Now we're going to put some of the butter in there. Let's see if we can cut that up. It's sort of soft. It needs to melt a little bit. Let's turn our vegetables. They're doing nicely. And uh, wiping the hand. We want to add also, let's see, that's going with our vegetable. Oh yes, we need a half a package of yeast. So I have a whole one, so I'm going to put about a half pack of yeast in there. So we blend together the milk, the flour, the butter, the yeast. We put a little salt and pepper. And we're going then to add to our mixture here, our sort of a custard, I'm spilling that by rushing here. We want now to add to that these nice vegetables that have sauteed. And we'll put that aside and blend all that together. And this makes our mixture for our clafo tea. Now they're going to take about 10 minutes in the oven, so we need to get those going. And to do that, we're going to put those in individual little molds, which we have already buttered and floured to help them unmold. So we'll place our nice mixture into our molds and put that into a 400 degree oven for about 8 to 10 minutes, maybe 12, and then this custard should solidify and we'll have a nice clafo tea of vegetables. A yeah, very interesting dish and it's a variation on a classic dessert called clafo tea and it's usually made with cherries or plums or peaches, but this is a vegetable clafo tea 
and it should be just fabulous. Let's see, we're not going to use all those molds, so I think we'll have enough for six or seven. So our oven is already set at 400 degrees, and we'll now put um, vegetable mixture into our oven for the eight to ten minutes that it requires. And moving that aside, let's move on. We need to get our cucumber sauce going. After all, this is our main dish. And for that, we need a cucumber. We need to peel it. I like to leave just a hint of the skin on. It just adds a nice color. And we're going to have a use for those skins also in a moment. Moving my cloth so I can get to my knives. Now we cut the cucumber down the center. And this is where we would like to take out the seeds. And they come out, they scoop out right nicely with a spoon. They're kind of hard to digest and you will find the vegetable a lot nicer without those seeds. So cutting this now into strips, we then want to cut this into dice. And this needs to blanch in boiling salted water for about three minutes. So we can add the cucumbers now to the ones I have. And then we'll put that into boiling water and let that cook or blanch for three minutes and then we'll drain that. All right, let's stop a moment, clean up this board. And move on to our next step, which is for our cucumber sauce, we need to make a bechamel sauce or a white sauce. And that starts out with some melted butter and some flour and a whisk. And we're going to have milk, salt, and pepper, and a little cream and cayenne pepper to add to that. In the meantime, while that butter is melting and to make our sauce, we also need to get our little tomato sauce going. So that was what the tomato was for. We want to cut the tomato in half and seed that by squeezing the tomato and using the finger, we take all the seeds out. And we want to chop this. We'll add that to the tomato we already have. And we're going to move over here to the processor. Let's get rid of these little dishes. And we're going to need for this some green onion. Let's see, where are the other ingredients? The green onion. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Let's come over here. We need garlic is what I was trying to say. Basil and a little bit of white wine. And a few green onions, which I have here. So we can cut those in large pieces and add those to the tomato. Turning the processor on, close it first. We then drop into the processor while it's going on the garlic cloves to chop those. And then at this point, we can add the tomato, the onion. In order to create a puree, All right, I have a few pieces of onion that can go in. That should chop those vegetables extremely well. All right, let's stop that. Our flour has almost gone too far, but it's not too bad. We can add our flour to our butter and start that. It's going to be a little dark at first, but we're cooking the flour. We'll add the water, or excuse me, the milk to our roux, our flour and water, and let that come up to heat. 
All right, we can take our cucumbers now and drain those in the sink into a colander, which we have placed there. And we'll reserve these, let them drain while we make our sauce. Back to the tomatoes. We have the tomatoes now pureed with the onion and the garlic. We want to pour that into a small skillet. And we're going to put that on to heat in the back and let that come up to a boil. In the meantime, we'll check our white sauce. It should thicken up very shortly. Now, back to our tomato puree. We need to add a little basil. We have about a half teaspoon of basil, and we have about a third of a cup of white vermouth. We will let those cook together and reduce and give us a little sauce to go onto our clafoti. Now that needs to reduce. It needs a little salt and pepper. And we come back to our sauce, which is thickening now, to which we want to add some salt. We add some chives. I'm using dried simply because there were no fresh available. We add a little cayenne pepper, and we add about a third of a cup of heavy cream to our sauce for an enrichment. So the basic white sauce is flavored with the basil and the pepper and salt. And now we add our cucumber. Stirring this, we will let this cook a little bit and develop flavor. And that will be ready shortly. In the meantime, our sauce back here should be cooking. We need now to go to our nice ham steaks, which I have here. We want to take those. I have a whole one. I simply want to cut a nice portion out of one. I score the fat side so that it will not curl. Now we have a grill here. You could do this in the oven on broil, but we will simply put our steaks onto a lightly greased grill and let them brown on both sides. And we'll come back to that shortly. Now we have one little bit of steak left over which we'll put aside. Let's go quickly to our, excuse me, I need to get a, a bowl, a measuring cup, that's what I need, no, no I, no I don't, it's right here in front of me. We have the mayonnaise, we want to, this is a salad dressing for our nice salad. We have mayonnaise, we have Dijon mustard, we have tarragon, quite a bit of tarragon, and a little bit of, no, that's the nutmeg, we don't need that. And we have the green onions, which we're going to mix into this, as well as some chopped parsley. So this is a basic dressing for our composed salad. And after mixing that, we want to add to that some nice apples, which we have already peeled and cut into dice, putting these bowls aside. We'll toss the apples in that nice seasoned mayonnaise dressing. Now let's stop a moment, go over here to our ham steaks. Let's see if we can't turn these one time. Oh, they're nice, have a nice juicy and they, they brown nicely on one side. Let's put that 
and we'll put those shortly onto our serving platter and looking at our sauces our cucumber sauce is just nice that needs to come off the heat because it's ready our tomato sauce is ready we'll turn the heat off on that and going back to our salad let's finish that we'll take that salad and that is some nice soft leaf lettuce and we're going to take some of the leaves I still have and we want to stack them and then we're going to cut them in strips this is called a chiffonade of lettuce nice soft leaf lettuce it's delicious and so tender we'll sprinkle our nice chiffonade in the center of some pretty leaves and then put our apple with our mayonnaise dressing and the tarragon and the parsley and the green onions in the center for a sort of a green on green with a little touch of white for our nice salad composé, a very French salad and one I think you will really enjoy. Now let's go back to our main courses. We need to take our ham steaks and place those on a serving platter. They smell so delicious and look so good. And we're going to then garnish this platter with our cucumber sauce by pouring some of the sauce over the ham steaks. If there's any left, and there will be, we're going to serve those, serve that separately. So we have our ham steak with our sauce. Now what we did too, we took some of these, let's see if I can't show you. We have these nice skins that we peeled off of the cucumber. They're rather tough, but by cutting them into thin strips and then boiling them for about three minutes, they're nice and tender and edible and make a wonderful garnish for our cucumber. Now we have only to retrieve our clafoutis. And they should be ready. We want them to take these one at a time and taking our knife, run it around the edge and see if these won't unmold. They're unmolding but poorly. They probably need another five minutes in the oven. That one didn't shape too well, but let's see if we can't get one or two more out anyway. That one came out. All right. They are hot dishes. Would help to use a, there we go. can basically feel when they come loose. There we go. That one doesn't want to come loose either. They will as soon as they cool down slightly. So let's try one more time. We'll have to take that one afterwards, but we have some of our nice clafoutis, a delicious mixture of the vegetables and a lovely sauce. We simply uh, batter rather, we simply want to place a little bit of this highly spicy garlic, tomato, and green onion onto our nice clafoti. So we have completed, although not completely, we've done the nice sauce, cucumber sauce for our ham. We have a very interesting salad composé of apples and mayonnaise and other wonderful flavors. 
and our cloffo tea, which are a little stubborn tonight, but we're going to get the others out and put them on that platter beautifully before we go to the dining room, which is about where we're going now while we show you the recipes for these dishes. <laughs> Well, we have our little French meal together, our French Nouvelle Cuisine, a new style of cooking, more or less, a little lighter type of food. We have the ham with the wonderful cucumber sauce. It's a nice basic white sauce with the cucumber, and it's, it's just a wonderful combination for the salty ham. And along with that, we have our clafoti of vegetables. They were a little reluctant to come out of the molds, but we did them. We got them all out of the molds, and you can see, we garnished the platter with some tomato and made them look very attractive with that wonderful sauce on top. And of course, our salad, our salad composé, a composed salad of apples with a mayonnaise mustard dressing flavored with tarragon, a wonderful combination. Now, we need to serve a little bit of this. Let's see if I can get myself one nice uh, ham steak here with some of the sauce. I see, there we go, I have one with some of the nice sauce, even a little piece of the garnish. Uh, well, I'll come back to that later. And then we'll take one of our nice clavo tea, our nice vegetable with a custard sauce all baked in and held together. And then we'll serve ourselves a little bit of the salad, going down and getting a little bit of the chiffonade of the lettuce. And add all these flavors to one platter and really make a wonderful tasting meal. So we have our meal. These are all recipes that I experienced when I was in Paris. We were at the Cordon Bleu cooking school, but half of the fun of uh, spending time there was eating out in restaurants and seeking out different places. And these res recipes were had at different restaurants where they're a little slightly different in the cooking, different from the haute cuisine or the classic cuisine of French food. I find them delicious. I think you will enjoy it. The ham with the cucumber, just a wonderful combination. The clafoutis, crunchy vegetables in this nice custard sauce, and that fresh tasting apple mayonnaise tarragon flavor. So we're gonna take a little wine and uh, have our meal. Abiento.